Hey guys and gals and welcome to another quick video from the TeamHairBlenderTech.com If you enjoy it or learned something from this video consider liking it and to subscribe to our channel for more Blender, Unity 3D, coding and all sorts of other CG related videos. Lastly don't forget our motto, create your way. So it may be Christmas day but regardless I'm still spending time on the computer when I shouldn't be. I just wanted to uh, quickly show you guys how to make a grease pencil animation. Now I am not a um, rotoscoper, I hate doing it. <laughs> um, I can draw but I'm, I can't draw on the tablet so well. But regardless I'm going to show you guys how this works so it's very very simple. We're just going to go into um, right view so that we get a nice orthographic view. So I'm going to turn off perspective. I'm going to delete the cube. I'm going to hide the camera and the lap for now since they're just going to get in the way. And we are simply going to start drawing. So press the end panel. Whoops. Up at the top here we have our grease pencil. So I don't know the difference between scene and object is but I've been using both of them just fine so I'm gonna select object I'm gonna press new to add a new grease pencil data block and I'm just gonna add a new one so I'm just gonna use black to start and just make a little something and so to start with I'm just gonna draw a quick little scene out I am going to draw oh geez I don't know we could draw um well the standard is to draw a little a little tiny character quickly so we're just gonna we're just gonna i'm just gonna hold down d and just draw a stupid little character and blender the 2.73 release is either very very slow with my tablets or it's just lagging because I don't get the continuous input that I'm used to which is very annoying I mean doing this works just fine but when I hold down D to draw it lags so I really can't get accurate drawings it's a little bit annoying but it's livable I'm sure people that do the the real drawings probably do it with a mouse This guy looks like he is retarded. Yeah, it might be my tablet settings, but it keeps wanting to do a, a long click, which is very, very, very annoying. It's just I didn't have this problem in older versions of Blender. So, the most retarded looking and worst sketch I've ever done in my entire life. But I wanted to show you how to um, make an animation. So, I, uh, I haven't figured out exactly 100% how it works, if key, well, if keyframes do anything or whatever. But the way that I've done it so far, and I've only, I've only done a couple little test ones, I just uh, press automatic keyframing. And then... Um, I just simply go to frame 2 and you'll see it automatically inserted that keyframe back here. So now if I go to frame 1, it well I guess it doesn't show up like it would a normal animation because this isn't an object, but you can see we have a keyframe regardless. So um now I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable editing. So you can basically do the same thing as you would when you're editing an object. You can circle select so you can see I can circle select points of my grease pencil stroke. Um, you can A to select or deselect. You can, um, oops, if you select something, you can rotate it. You can grab it. What else can you do? Like all these ones here and more. You can mirror, you can, yeah, you can scale. You can shear. So for some different perspective kind of anim animations and other things, and you can bend. 
which could be interesting considering we're basically working through uh, 2D here. But anyways, to get an animation going, um, let's go for example, let's, uh, let's take his entire leg here, this side of the leg, and let's simply just, let's rotate it. I'm gonna go around the 3D cursor. I don't know if this works. Yeah, it rotates around the 3D cursor, I believe. So I'm just gonna rotate it around the 3D cursor. For This is frame two, remember? So I'm gonna rotate it around the 3D cursor like that. And then I'm gonna click to go to frame three. You'll see it's inserted another keyframe. And I'm gonna rotate it back. Another keyframe, rotate it. Another keyframe, rotate it. And then I maybe we might select his arm. I am going to click another keyframe just to make sure I didn't do anything wrong. I'm going to rotate it around the 3D cursor here. And it's going to stretch the lines, so I haven't perfected this. But anyways, you can do some pretty cool work if you've seen the test videos. So I'm going to go to frame 7, I'm going to rotate a little bit, frame 8, rotate a little bit, frame 9, rotate a little bit. Frame 10, blah, blah, you get the point. You can also just use the arrows, it makes it a lot faster to, uh, to get to the next frame. And then you can do other cool things, so, um, you could say, I'll make a new layer here since it, nothing's locked. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick blue, a nice blue. So I'm just gonna grab my hue saturation because I enjoy using that, and I'm gonna pick a nice. I'm gonna take Blender Tech Blue. How about that? Almost. I have the hex code available, but I can approximate it. There's an approximate, no, it's, that's too blue, but regardless, whatever. Now we could uh, we could do something like continue drawing. So uh, I'm gonna make sure, so I'm just gonna go ahead one frame and I'm just gonna say, start filling in his uh, shirt a little bit. And maybe I will change the thickness to five pixels so that it, it's more of a fill stroke. So I'm just gonna draw See, this works no problem all of a sudden. Then I'm gonna go ahead of frame. I'm actually go way thicker with this just so I can show you quickly. So I'm gonna keep drawing. Next frame. Whoops, I hit play. Okay, well now you'll see my animation. Um, however, for grease pencil animations, since you're doing them one by one, I tend to do it at a lower frames per second. So I'm gonna go like four frames per second. I know that might sound ridiculous, but because it's a grease pencil animation and because I don't wanna make this a really long video, I just wanna show you how it works. So if I hit play now, we have this little grease pencil animation. And yeah, you can just continue adding on to things. I could, uh, I don't know why his shirt um, decided to disappear there the other half, but it's like that. Um, kind of annoying. I've not mastered the settings yet, but we could fill the whole thing in. We could go to the next frame. We could take a slightly darker blue. Oh, I'm adjusting the layer. Oops, I need another layer. We could take, yes, another slightly darker blue. We could draw on top of that. Do 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 to do, do. Next frame. Do 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 to do, do. Put in some imaginary shading. So yeah, I haven't mastered this. I keep losing my strokes and such. He's got some pockets on his pants. 
you get the idea. So you can create some pretty cool things with this. So that's just showing you kind of how it works. And then just, yeah, so the, in the T panel, there, at the, there's the grease pencil uh, tab at the bottom. And so you just enable editing and it allows you to do, it allows you to do almost um, the same operations as you would with any uh, 3D mesh or object in Blender as you normally would, except with your uh, grease pencil animation. So I could take this frame now and I could say select his head and I could scale it up and then he pop back down to size or maybe not. So let's see what our final animation looks like. I'm actually I'm gonna play this at two frames per second just so that you can see it. So here we go. The worst animation and the worst drawing I've ever done. Although for a grease pencil, it's pretty good because usually my grease pencil uh, writing looks like absolute junk. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. It is an animation one way or another. And you could go out to any layer and you could uh, set up your camera and you could render it. I haven't figured out how though, but um, somehow you can. I just haven't figured it out yet. And you could obviously uh, render your animation and it would, um, once you figure out how to get your grease pencil strokes to actually render, um, you could make an animation out of it. So yeah, that is just the basics of this for there's there's a lot more um there's a few other videos I suggest you watch for example I haven't watched it fully yet but this uh blender 2.73 how to make a cartoon by sunrise kingdom his voice is a little odd but he goes over the process a lot better and shows us how to do it a lot better and there's a bunch in here that um the sunrise kingdom guy really really he does some good work. His voice is just a little hard to listen to, in my opinion. So yeah, watch some of that. Do some more Blender 2.73 uh, grease pencil uh, videos. Just watch and try to learn. And basically, we're all learning at the same time. So <laughs> you'll have to ignore me. I'm sure it has something to do with the layers. So you can see how um, it's layered, just like anything else would be. If I take the black layer and put it over top, you can see how it changes that. So yeah. You just kind of got to play around with it, kind of like I have been. But that is the basics of it. And yeah, you can you can lock frames. You can do onion skinning. So that ghosts um, previous and next frames. So that you can kind of see how your animation is working. Um, and you can change the color for that. Yeah, there's there's a few options in here, different things you can do. So that is the basics. Anyways, I'm not gonna go any longer with this. Have fun with it, play around. Obviously it's not the final release, but I just wanted to throw a quick one out there on Christmas day for anybody that's not with their family. I am gonna go join my family now. I wish you all a happy holidays. So anyways, um, thanks for watching from the team here at BlenderTech.com. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, please like it and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. We're now on Twitter at Twitter.com slash Blender underscore tech. That's at Blender underscore tech and Facebook at Facebook.com slash Blender tech page. All one word. If you want a hard copy of our videos, just let us know. If you dislike this video for some reason, don't just leave a thumbs down and leave sorry don't just hit the thumbs down button and leave leave us a comment or an email at info at blendertech.com about what you did not like so that we can continually improve our videos based on community input we also take requests for anything so if you need a video let us know see you next time remember create your way